Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how aldehydes and ketones can react with hydrogen cyanide to produce hydroxy nitriles. You should then be able to describe the mechanism for this reaction. In the last video, we looked at how carbonyl compounds can be reduced, and we saw that this reduction is an example of nucleophilic addition. In this video, we're looking at another nucleophilic addition reaction of carbonyl compounds. This is the addition of hydrogen cyanide. I'm showing you here the equation for the reaction between ethanol and hydrogen cyanide. When we react a carbonyl compound with hydrogen cyanide, we produce a compound called a hydroxy nitrile. In the case of ethanol, we make 2-hydroxy propane nitrile. Now, there are several key facts about this reaction that you need to remember. Firstly, we cannot use hydrogen cyanide directly in this reaction. Hydrogen cyanide is a highly toxic liquid with a boiling point just above room temperature. Instead, we use sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide reacted with either dilute sulfuric acid or dilute hydrochloric acid. This generates the hydrogen cyanide within the reaction mix. Secondly, the reaction is carried out at room temperature. Notice that this reaction increases the length of the carbon chain by one carbon atom. Also, the hydroxy nitrile produced contains two reactive functional groups, the hydroxyl group and the nitrile group. So for both these reasons, this reaction is extremely useful in organic synthesis. Here's the reaction between propanone and hydrogen cyanide. In this case, we make the compound 2-hydroxy-2-methyl-propane nitrile. OK, let's take a look at the mechanism for this reaction, and it's important that you learn this. We'll be using ethanol for this mechanism, but it could apply to any other aldehyde or ketone. Remember that in the carbonyl group, the oxygen atom has a partial negative charge, and the carbon atom has a partial positive charge. Scientists say that this carbon atom is electron deficient. I'm also showing the cyanide ion. Notice that in the cyanide ion, the carbon atom has a lone pair of electrons and a negative charge. In the first stage of the mechanism, the lone pair of electrons on the cyanide ion is attracted to the delta positive carbon atom in the carbonyl group. The cyanide ion donates the lone pair of electrons from a dative covalent bond to the carbon atom. So in this stage, the cyanide ion is acting as a nucleophile. The pi bond in the carbon to oxygen double bond breaks and the pair of electrons moves on to the oxygen atom. Notice that when the pi bond breaks like this, this is an example of heterolytic fission. We've now formed an intermediate with a negative charge on the oxygen atom. In the next stage, a lone pair of electrons is donated from the oxygen atom to a hydrogen ion. Scientists say that the intermediate has been protonated, and we've now formed our final product, which is the hydroxy nitrile. And remember that this reaction is an example of nucleophilic addition. OK, so hopefully now you can describe the reaction between carbonyl compounds and hydrogen cyanide. <laughs>